Okay, I've got some requests to evaluate uh, FFX Steam Edition on Windows 10, so here we are. Now, as you can see, we have the full screen mode here, and I'm uh, flying in this default uh, glider. Uh, I have the menu up, and typically in FFX, the crashing has happened when switching between aircraft in full screen mode. And as you can see, the you didn't see the menu come up, but in between those two, the menu came up, uh, left full screen mode for, mode for a minute, uh, came over here and uh, we're looking at the aircraft, seeing how well it renders, uh, seeing if we get to crash, see if we have any uh, types of light. Now this is with DirectX 10 off right now. Uh, and uh, let's take a look. Now I'm switching over to another aircraft here, again using the built-in menu. Uh, switching over to the, oh, <laughs> didn't quite make it in time, uh, but made it over to the F-18. Blue Angels F-15. It's one of the built-in aircraft. Now, all the aircraft I'm using for this demo are all FXX built-in aircraft. No third-party aircraft. Uh, that reason is because there's so many different ones out there. I couldn't test every single one out there uh, to satisfy everybody. You're going to have to just test that yourself. But the basic program works great. You notice I put on smoke trails here. Uh, you'll see that uh, they render fine. So there's a lot of different things going on here that are working really well under uh, the Steam version under uh, FXX and Windows 10. So now that I've done that, uh, I can test all day here, but basically I have not had one crash uh, with that. But I'm going to go ahead and restart it. I'm going to go ahead and change the setting on FXX to uh, use DirectX 10. And we're going to try this uh, again uh, with the... Uh, some more aircraft uh, to see uh, if DirectX 10 has caused any problems. So here I am in FXX after uh, setting up DirectX 10 and of course it forces a restart. And I just the, the 747 again uh, and as you can see uh, it's flying really well. Well, it's, if I can pull this baby up, uh, the program is running very well. I'm not flying very well. And that's partially because my Windows 10 doesn't have any controllers. I'm flying by keyboard. Uh, so I apologize in advance for the terrible flying that you're about to see. But as you can see, it runs fine. No problems whatsoever. Um, we'll sit there and watch the rendering and the clouds as we're going to go through here. Uh, working great. Uh, so I'm going to switch over here to different views. I'll watch the contrails as I change pitch here. And you'll see how well it uh, is working. And, uh, and, by the way, that terrible flying, you see I'm in a stall and I am about to just pancake into the terrain. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, switch to a different aircraft here. Uh, but anyways, the point being is that the rendering is really well uh, what's going on. So let's switch over to... Uh, another aircraft, and again, rendering beautiful. No stutters in the program, no problems in the program whatsoever. So if your question is, how does FXX Steam Edition run on Windows 10? And so do some rolls, uh, have some fun, uh, because uh, it looks like it's a bright future for FF FSX on Steam Edition on Windows 10. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Uh, we have videos on Windows 7, 8, and 10, and Windows Phone. So come join us and take a look at all the exciting new features in the Windows uh, family of products. And I uh, hope to see you stop by soon.